It's Christmas time. Happy holidays. Joaquin, what are you doing? I'm making my gingerbread house. It's November 1st! You know what, Joaquin? I'm your host, Riley Doherty. And I'm Evelyn Honeycutt. And, and you're watching, watching episode 13, 13 of The Loft. Nights, camera, action. Yo, have you made your Christmas list yet? Bro, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Thanksgiving? That doesn't even really matter. Christmas is where the fun's at. What about the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the stuffing? Don't forget about the gravy. But what about the hot chocolate, the movies, the cookies, the gifts, and Santa Claus? All right, whatever you say. Thanksgiving is still better. Coach Dana Smith. I am the varsity girls basketball head coach for the 2024-25 basketball season. What I like most about being a head coach is that I can develop a culture and a family knit program around girls who are passionate about playing basketball, talented, and disciplined. My name is Lucy White. I'm in ninth grade and this is my first year on varsity. I'm shooting guard. I just like my position because I'm active and I get all over the court. We've been training for preseason by staying conditioned and having fun with the team and getting to know each other. My name is Leia Redicota. I'm a freshman and this is my first year on varsity. I play small forward and my favorite part about my position is that I get into contact in the paint, and I feel like it's a lot of fun. My name is Desiree Stamps. I'm a senior, and I've been on varsity for four years. I'm a point guard. Um, my favorite part is that it's taught me valuable lessons on and off the court, and it showed me like how to be a leader. 
Biggest rival was Kale, but I dropped 30 points on him, so. Go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Hello, my name is Van Lee Bora. And I'm Chase Lang. And today, we're gonna be painting each other. How's yours coming along? Um, just now putting uh, paint to paint, uh, to paint, so. You're starting to paint? For you uh, sports fans out there, the WNBA's coming up. Hey. Is Caitlin you... Clark the GOAT? Who's better, Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese? Personally, I mean, I don't want to be a controversial or anything. It's Senior Patrons. It's a staple in the community, right next to Newtown. And I really just, I, I, I like Senior Patrons. I think it is very interesting. Yeah, they got good food. Good food. Good food, good people. Good people, really. That's... I think Brooklyn Bagel tops it. We hope you enjoyed this segment. Enjoy the law. Hey Avery, have you seen my keys? Where's the last place that you had it? Well, I was eating and I, I don't know, it just disappeared. <laughs> Came to the right place. We'll find it. When there's a will, there's a way. So I pinpointed three different locations. My keys, my keys. The most common places that you lose your keys. Listen, come here, listen. Three most common areas that you lose your keys. Kitchen, living room, dining room. Have you checked any of these locations? Uh, you check it, You check in between the sofa? This is my plan. All right, check the dining room. Check every single crevice. The keys, keys, hello. Check the plant. Plant, the plant, good idea, good idea, nice thinking. Most common place to have household keys. My God, you're a genius. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Leave it in the air fryer? No. Nope. It's gotta be somewhere around here, I know it. Avery, I can feel it. I, I, I sense the keys, Avery. Dishwasher. <laughs> Living room. I like, I like that thinking, Avery. I Not like it a lot. Gotta be. My plan always works. Can't find them. This is not seeming to work. Well, listen, I, I gotta go stick to my daily plan. This is this is way too off schedule. All right. I'm sorry. Go for it. All right. Well, I'm gonna take out the trash. Stop, stop, stop. Those are my keys. This is the 
This Mikey's is, aren't here. They're in here. This is the trash. Congratulations, you're an idiot. Now let's go to James and Jeremy for their mini wheel too. Oh, Welcome back to the Wheel of Doom. We're switching things up a little bit this week and using our Halloween candy from last week. And we're using Bean Boozle. It landed on licorice or burnt rubber. Mm. God, that's two bad ones. Yeah, so. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> you think it tastes like a tire, bro? Horrible, dude. Tastes like a, you know, like a mechanic shop. Um, yep. I was saying like a 2 out of 10. That was horrible. <coughs> dude, this is so bad. Oh my god. I know. Like, it literally tastes like you just took a bite out of a tire. What's that? Uh, it's either cappuccino or liver and onions. Mmm! It's like brown. This one. This one. Can't smell it. Yeah, there's no smell to them. Okay, here we go. Three. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> That's terrible. I, <laughs> I didn't know what I eat this, dude. It's so bad. I got liver and onions. It's terrible. Is it a trash can, bro? It's so bad. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Liver and onions, so zero out of ten. That's the worst one for sure. <laughs> that was awful. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so bad. Dude. Oh my god, I'm not going. This is so bad. Oh my god. That'll wrap up this week's mini Wheel of Doom. We'll see you next week. Check me. What are you doing with all those cans? NHS is holding a food drive. It ends on November 13th. Oh really? Yeah, you should bring some. I'm glad you brought some cans. Me too. Thanks for telling me about it. Of course. NHS is holding a food drive. It ends on November 13th. Come, Come to room E10 to, to drop off your cans. cans. Good morning, Knights. November is here. Expect the weather to be partly cloudy with some gusts of wind. On Friday, the high will be 78 and the low will be 63. Plan to layer up this weekend. For Saturday, there will be a high of 70 and a low of 54. For Sunday, there will be a high of 61 and a low of 58 with a 53% chance of rain. Go Knights! He thinks he's the best at everything, but every time I've played him at any game, he loses. Am I the best at everything? Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on, boy! Oh my god, dude. The sun's blinding me. Bro, there's not even sun out. What? Oh yeah, Jeremy? Yeah, I destroyed him. I mean, I basically beat him in everything, so. Did he say he destroyed me? It was 11 to three. He talks so much smack, but between me and you, he's low key mid. Jackson's gotta be the cockiest person I know. Yeah, I don't know why they all say I'm cocky. I mean, I think they're just mad I'm better than them. But you really don't know who you're playing against. 
I was a 15 time world champion. All right, let's get this over with. Watch this, bud. Whenever he's competitive, he just gets super annoying. Don't miss. Don't mess up. Don't. Whatever. Yeah, it just comes naturally to me. These games are just, they're just really easy. He talks all of that, and he doesn't even know the rules of pool. I can make this in my sleep. Bro, you know I'm solid, right? What? Jackson even hit the eight ball in and thought he won. <sighs> Bang, that's game. Do I have a big ego? No, I'm just the best at everything. The football team has been getting a lot of recognition for their hard work, but the marching man that's working just as hard has not been getting nearly enough. They work for four to five hours a day after school three days a week. All this just to entertain the audience in the stands and the football team down on the field. The word of week is cursory. To have something done will be made quickly. Hello and welcome back to week 13 of CSPN. I'm your host, Len Braun. I'm Matthew Braunet. And it's been a while, so let's get back into it. The Atlanta Falcons continue their hot streak and are now 6-3 and in first in the division after beating the Dallas Cowboys. They play again this weekend on the road against the Saints. Saquon Barkley, my favorite Eagle, had one of the best plays I've ever seen breaking a tackle, spin moves around another guy to get the first down, then hurdles over the defender backwards. We also have Garrett Wilson making the potential catch of the year with a one-handed catch, just like the Michael Jordan logo in the back of the end zone. The MLB season has officially come to a close as the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the New York Yankees in the World Series in only five games. The Dodgers came out to a burning hot start winning the first three games, rallying behind Freddie Freeman, who would later win the World Series MVP thanks to a six-game World Series home run streak that was carried over from his World Series with the Braves back in 2021. The Dodgers are looking like they could be starting a dynasty with their stacked roster and being the likely landing spot for many talented free agents. Just like college hoops, the Centennial Ice basketball is back, following their Midnight Madness competition where Jacob Turner won the dunking contest and Shindy won the three-point competition. The Knights are back on the court next Tuesday on the road against North Springs and have their first home game next Friday at 7.30 against Chattahoochee. Make sure to go support the Knights as they kick off the season. Now let's head to the round table where Matthew Brada interviewed Jacob Turner and Coach Barksdale after Midnight Madness to talk about the competition and the upcoming season. I'm here with Coach Barksdale after Midnight Madness. Coach, how'd you say this went overall? It was fun. Uh, the dunk contest was great. Uh, three point contest had some good drama in it. And then the, the game was fun too. So overall, I'd say it was a great night. That's awesome. How would you say, based off of this, how are you feeling for the season? Feeling really excited. Um, we're senior heavy. We have eight seniors um, who are all experienced and um, our leadership's been great. Our energy and effort in practice has been great. Um, so really, really looking forward to uh, kicking off on Friday. 
And what do you think about this team? Will be different from last year's team? Uh, more experienced, better leadership, uh, more skilled. They've been working hard uh, since the season ended. So overall, I'd say we're we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We are here with Jacob Turner, Mr. JT TikTok boy. How are you feeling after the dunk competition? Uh, it feels nice. Glad I got to come out. You know, had some good competition with you know Ford, with Corey. Corey, Corey made it close, but uh, glad I got to pull out the win in the end. You know, I saw off the side. Close. You think you're gonna win from the start? Oh yeah, I knew I was gonna win. Uh, no doubt in my mind. I just wanted to give him a chance uh, in that second round because you know he missed. So I was like, let me try some. You know, make it entertaining for the crowd. But no doubt in my mind. <laughs> How are you feeling about some of the bad feeds over the over the hoop? Uh, you know, every, everybody makes their mistakes. Uh, you know, in the end, he ended up getting the lob right, but, you know, that's, that's my guy Cam. That's, that's my guy Killer. All right, so, you know, he ended up getting the lob right, ended up winning, and uh, it was a team effort. And then, based off this, how are you feeling for the season? Oh, state run. Region championship, easy. Uh, minimum final four. We'll, we'll go for that state championship, if, if we're being honest. 20, 23 and 2. That's the record, calling it now. All right, thank you. Yeah. No <laughs> We are finally back with some sports picks this week. My record is sitting at 16 and 13. And I'm 18 and 11. Our first of two college football games is the College Game Day Game of the Week, where number 11 Alabama takes on the number 15 ranked LSU Tigers in Death Valley. I'm going with the Tigers this week. A big win for them could bump them up into the college football playoff bracket. A loss for Alabama could end their season. I think LSU's got this one at home. I'm sticking with the Tide. They bounce back after the tough loss against Tennessee. Both teams are coming off a bye week, but Bama's favored. This game means a lot to them. They know if they don't win, their playoff chances could be done. So I think Bama wins this one. The number three Georgia Bulldogs taking on the number 16 ranked Ole Miss Rebels. Who do you have in this one, Matthew? I've been going with Ole Miss all year. I'm staying with them. They didn't do me well last time, but Jackson Dart looked amazing last week. Not a UGA fan. In Ole Miss, I think Ole Miss takes this one. I'm also going with the Rebels this week. I really like what I saw from Jackson Dart. Ole Miss could potentially, if they get in, a national championship contender. I think that starts this week with a big win against the Ooga Bulldogs. <laughs> well, that's it for Week 13 of CSBN. Hopefully, we'll see you guys next week for Week 14. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Lost Centennial. We hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll, we'll see, see you all next week. week. Go Knights!